folks, thanks for tuning in. So, I want to tell y'all just kind of an interesting story that happened, uh, <clears throat> good grief, that 15 years ago or so, I guess now. Um, I had canvassed, this was back before I had a fantastic job for the man. And I had canvassed this neighborhood trying to get lawns to cut. Well, the contractor and the builder and the HOA kind of had a deal with a major landscaping company in town. And so everybody there was spoken for already. But I did get a call from one of the homeowners. They said, we just bought this house and we are selling our other place over at such and, you know, over across town and we want you to go take a look at it and cut it for us. I said, it won't be a problem. I can keep it looking good until, um, until you sell it. Great. So... I go out, take a look at the yard, give them a quote, job's accepted. I go out, I'm cutting this yard for them, I'm cutting it every couple weeks, going over picking up my money, nothing out of the ordinary, just uh, making money for them. Well, I get a phone call that they sold the house, and that I only need to cut it like this next time, and then I'm done. Okay. Well, then... About a week or so after that, I get a phone call that from an unknown number. And it's actually the guy that is buying the house. He and I spoke on the phone. It was funny, like, a, hey, here's what I'm cutting it for. Here's how often I've been coming out. All this, that, and the other. And then we talked for like 20 minutes. Just politics or moving or the headache of it or whatever we're just on the phone really nice cordial guy and I don't know if I'm the only one that's ever had this happen or not but have you ever like spoke with someone on the phone and kind of got a mental image of what they might look like that happened to me and the mental image that I got of this guy is based on the the way that he spoke, the way he sounded on the phone, the choice of words and everything like that, is he uh, would have been taller in his 50s, kind of slim, slightly muscular. Well, I go over and I cut the yard a couple times. He's in the process of moving, getting all that stuff organized and whatnot. So I didn't see him the first few times that I cut the yard for him. Fast forward, I go over the first time that he's there and got most of his stuff unpacked. And guy comes walking out of the house and it's Santa Claus. Absolutely none of what I was expecting. Well, he and I had had such a good time talking on the phone that I am invited into his new house for a cup of coffee. And we sit down and we talk politics and current news. Now, bear in mind, this was, what, 06? Oh seven, oh eight, somewhere in there. So it's been a while. And we get talking about everything. We're sipping on a cup of coffee, just having a good chit-chat. And he takes me over to his uh, office that he has set up for his computer. We get talking, and on the, I notice that there's a picture of a man in uh, army uniform. And he's like, yeah, that was me. I served in the uh, tail end of Vietnam and in the Gulf War. I'm like, really? And what was funny is the dude in the picture is kind of what I pictured this guy looking like. Well, we end up... Th this was one of my favorite customers back in the day because every time I would go over to his house, it took me an hour to do the work. From the time I dropped the tailgate on the trailer to the time I was loaded back up, I never got out of there in under an hour and a half. And there were times that I'd have to budget two hours to do this guy's yard just because 
we'd get talking politics and carried on and oh we'd have a blast just sitting there drinking coffee and talking shop so yeah I just thought that was kind of a interesting little story there so that's what I got on this one folks